Miguel Cabrera two for 11 against Odorizzi in his career. Drives one to left. Back goes Rosario. He'll leap. He's not going to get it. That's the way to start a ball game. Miguel Cabrera knows that Odorizzi is going to challenge him up in the zone and he was ready for that one. He kind of kept it middle half in and Mickey just got the barrel out to it beat him there and an easy swing when the ball's that high number 475 down the line and fair when a rise drives one into the corner and the ball getting away from Reyes and a rise pulls into second with a double three hits for the twins and they've all gone to the opposite field and Reyes was shading a, a rise right down that line so he had to play the carom kind of mishandle that carom a little bit but it's a double for a rise his 13th double of the year Adrian's on the year with 11 hits with men in scoring position looking for his 12th. a high drive to right center field it's hit a long way toward the scoreboard and gone. I said be ready to swing the bat and Adrianza was his fifth home run of the year his third as a left handed hitter and the twins take a two to one lead two and two right center field and came with a diving catch in right a great catch by Jake Cave streaking in from right field yeah, he must have called it early because I thought Kepler was going to cut Maybe in front of Cave, but Cave came out of nowhere and made a nice diving catch. I'm sure he was screaming, I've got it, I've got it. And he did. Nice running catch, nice diving catch by Cave. Been kind of the perfect storm, though, for failure here in Detroit. That hit him? Castro dropped the bat. He's going to go to first. And that also got Garver, and Garver seems like he can't get through a game yeah. without getting dinged up a couple of times. Like Mike Redman. Remember Mike Redman always got dinged up. Take a look right here. Pitch up. Get off his hand and then into Garver. Right off the mask. Of course, Mitch has had some concussion issues. They're challenging something. I'm assuming the twins are challenging here to see whether that ball actually hit Castro or not. Or maybe the knob of the bat. Right. And they're going to call him back. It is not a hit by pitch. It's a strike. And now it is Ostadio coming out to catch. So Garver's got to leave the ball game. With nobody down and two men on. Up the middle. Base hit by DeMarit. Lugo is going to try and score. Kepler's throw is cut off, and we are deadlocked at two. Victor Reyes singled his last time up. Launches one to right center. Kepler's got it. Mercer's going to score. A sacrifice fly from Victor Reyes puts the Tigers in the lead. Big as his home run was in the second, this would be a bigger hit here. Up the middle, backhanded by Castro. He fumbles it, and Adrianza is safe. Nearly got into center field. Wade stopped at third. They're loaded up now for Max Kepler. Rodriguez right here finds the ball and then short hops Mercer, but look what Mercer does. Gets his body in front of that ball. That ball gets by him. Game's tied. Liner to left field, a base hit. Wade will score. A rise right behind him. Throw to third. Not in time. And Kepler delivers against a lefty again. That was a fastball that stayed up. A great at bat. Hey, nobody there. Take it the other way. 36 runs batted in against lefties and 141 at bats. Be a good win for the Twins the way they came back. Strike there three. Rogers gets the job done. One, two, three. And the Twins now lead the American League Central by six games. All well, day after day, we have seen the Minnesota Twins come back. Yes, they've scored early in a lot of their wins, but this is a good win right here. Coming back with two runs in the eighth. Great job by the bullpen. Four shutout innings.